Hey there, buddy. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, once again, hey, this time it's not a Nerf War video that I'm giving you. This is actually a quick work in progress video just to kind of explain why I haven't been making a lot of Nerf War videos, why I haven't been editing a lot of videos. This has kind of been taking up all of my time. As you know, if you've watched, uh, watched the channel for a little bit, I love the Sentinel. I'm a huge Sentinel Union um, uh, praiser and whatnot. But uh, I gotta tell you, I got my hands on the snipe and the second I, I was able to open it up, it just made so much more sense to me and it kind of helped me understand why Busby may have decided not to continue with the Sentinel anymore. Um, I'm not gonna take it open right now, uh, just so that you guys know, the, the version that I did get is solvent welded on both sides and it is a pain in to, to get it open. You could probably just hacksaw the stuff off. However, this one is gonna be super integral into my design and what I've been doing recently. So that one you can't really hacksaw off. The back one you can, I just, I, I disagree with it. I would say don't do it. I actually held these in boiling water in order to actually get them to pry off. And now I've been playing around with some aluminum brazing and I got some alu aluminum uh, materials and I switched out the plunger tube and I have this cool new plunger tube here that I've been able to fabricate with a 3D printed plunger on the inside. I have the same sort of 3D printed uh, spring sleeve that I've replaced on the inside as well. And then I also got this. This is super cool. Unlike the Sentinel where you have to take the two halves of the shell apart in order to get the harness in, this is threaded. And so this fits right in here. I can thread it in this way. It doesn't always line up instantly without the magazine in, but that's fine. Boom, there we go. That is the entire thing. Let's see if I can pry this with one hand. I've got a K26 in here. Oh man, it's really hard. Okay, cool, fantastic, all right. So that's the breech open. It, act, it does go a little bit back so that the dart can actually fit in. I'm gonna push this forward. The cool thing about this is this little nub. Um, what I was running into before was how to keep a dart which pops up on the magazine. How do I keep it down while also having something like this that can actually push into the barrel to create a full seal? The cool thing about this is that Busby's already done it. It's a spring. It pushes the dart down and centers it and it's also going to push this bolt down. This bolt does not need to thread or sleeve into the barrel at all. What it's going to do is push and it's going to provide this rubber washer with a nice seal on the inside. If you can see, I did chamfer the inside of the barrel that way. And if I push it in, it'll push against the nub. It doesn't, again, it does not center without a magazine to actually push it. Boom, it goes in. Let's give this a shot real quick and I'll try to get real close so you can hear it. It took about two seconds for the air to leave. So we've got a pretty good seal with this and that is not a very good seal there. And again, I don't have the magazine in. So let's go ahead and give this a couple couple fires and see how it goes. Um, because of the, the larger diameter on the bolt, you do need to pop it back. Whoa, you do need to pop it back in order to get a magazine in. Magazine goes in, there's the dart. It's pushing down, it's getting centered in. I pop that through, it slides in nice and easy. Boom, I, it could not be any easier than that. And let's give it a, sh a fire. Not so bad, let's do it again. Uh, that one wasn't so good. That one's pretty good. And that's all I got. Cool. Okay, so something I'm noticing after firing those dud darts um, is sometimes if I'm priming the bolt too quickly, what you can actually see is a space here in the bolt uh, between the barrel and the bolt. And so what I'm thinking is this nub is actually pushing down the bolt too hard. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm priming really fast and it won't actually um, thread and sleeve itself into the chamfer that I have in the barrel, which is unfortunate. Um, something that's cool about Busby 
is they load and pack all of their blasters with incredibly beefy springs. Way beefier than they actually need to for their blasters which fire at an average of 70-ish, 75 feet per second. And so the cool thing about this is when I do any of my blaster mods and overloads with the Sentinel, with this thing, I'm really only changing out the main plunger spring for a K26. Everything else gets to stay the same. Even the catch springs that are in the back are super beefy and I don't have to do anything with them. And so what I'm thinking is this nub that's pushing the dart down actually is a crazy beefy spring. And so when I'm threading this in, sometimes the rubber will catch a little bit on that nub and it kind of off centers this one and the spring that's in here is just popping that entire bolt assembly down and creating this awful seal. So I think all I need to do is switch that out for a lighter spring, which I've got a lot lying around. I'm sure I can I can find something to, to change that out with. And this should be good to go, possibly for this Friday for all of our Nerf Wars. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, so yeah, I, I, the, just a, a quick work in progress video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you next time.